Hey y'all, Irix guy here. Now I'm here with the first field test for the DJI Phantom 3. The uh, the Phantom 3 DJI Pilot app was released uh, yesterday, so I'm actually in the field today, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to start out this video with the unboxing. So I've got not the unboxing of the Phantom, but the uncasing. So I'm taking it out of my case. You can check the link within this video's description. You can order the case, the Phantom. Uh, the short cable, everything you're about to see here from 400 or below. So the first thing you do when you get out in the field, and that's what makes these quick disconnect prop guards so convenient. Obviously, I want to take off my gimbal protector uh, that's in there. You always want to put this piece in. This is what comes with your... I just dropped it. Um, this is what comes with your Phantom 3. Now, in my case, I've got the Phantom 3 Pro, uh, but this also comes with the Advanced. So you need to be sure to use it. I was just making sure I was recording. I thought I forgot. It's pretty sunny out here. Uh, the next thing, you're going to want to get this for your controller. This is a short lightning cable. And again, all of this you can find within this video's description. Just check the link or go to 400orbelow.com. Uh, this is what's so nice. See how I've got my prop guards in here so conveniently? So I, I've got them in my case, my waterproof and ruggedized case. And all I have to do is pop these on. They just snap in, quick disconnect. So these pieces remain attached to your Phantom 3, but the prop guards just snap on and off. So from uh, from travel to air, it's super simple to just get up and running. I mean, look at how convenient this is. They come in a variety of colors. I like the orange and black. I just thought it looked really cool. Uh, so that's what I'm using in this. But they just snap right in. It's very, very intuitive uh, way to do it there. So now they're on, and just a quick safety check, I want to make sure, and something else, you may have seen my other video, that when you get this out of the box from the factory, there's a styrofoam piece that I discarded. I kept the clear lens protector, or clear gimbal uh, protector that you just saw, because that's something you want to travel with. But if there's a piece there, if you just got your Phantom 3 from 400 belowcom uh, there's probably a, a little styrofoam piece there. You're going to want to make sure that's off, otherwise when you start flying, it's not going to look right. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the uh, the controller out, which is right here. Um, all I do is just pop up my, my holder. In my case, I'm using iPhone 6 Plus. So I'm going to push this, and that neatly comes up, and I've got these legs out right here. We're going to put the iPhone 6 Plus in here. Okay, so I've got my iPhone 6 Plus in here. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is connect... The, uh, the lightning cable, the short one, and again, you can check the link within this video's description to, uh, to find where to order this. It's on 400 or below. So you just plug it into your phone. In, in my case, it's iPhone 6 Plus, but you could use the same cable for, uh, for your current versions of uh, iPad or iPod Touch or any other iPhone that supports the, uh, the lightning connection. And then I just plug it into my into my USB port on the controller. Uh, now, from a uh, from a preparation perspective, I'm ready. I've got the Phantom. Well, I don't have the props on it, so that's the next thing I'm going to want to do is get my props and uh, put them on. Now, keep in mind there's some with black center. You're going to want two with the black center and two with the silver center. So I got two silvers. Now I need another black center one. This prop bag that they included with it was really nice. Uh, since this is my first field test, I don't even have the little plastic pieces off of the middle of the prop, so I'm going to have to have to rip those off. I intentionally waited for the iOS app. I know a lot of people, including myself, were, were anxious to get airborne, and um, I intentionally waited because I wanted it to be a true test in the air with the uh, with the brand new Phantom 3 Professional. So it was hard to wait. I almost went out and got an Android. Nothing wrong with Android if you use Android to fly, but I use I use iOS, and I didn't want to go out and just get a new device to uh, to have it a, a day or so early. I think the Android app, uh, DJI Pilot app, may have released a few days earlier. Taking these prop guards off here.
And the good thing about this, the way they package this, is that when you uh, when you take these out of the bag, once you've taken this off, you know the prop's been used. So it's just an easy way to know if you're, because what I'll do is put them back in the bag after I fly instead of keeping them on the drone. That's just how I prefer to do it. And then when I put them in my case and I open it up the next time, I can just grab the ones that don't have the little plastic around the middle. And if I ever do break these, then, you know, I've got a spare pair that came with the Phantom, uh, Phantom 3 Professional. So that's a good, good thing to have there. Okay, so now what we're going to do, the ones that have the black center are going to be the ones with the black propeller, so I'm going to put it on. It's got a directional indication for lock and unlock. You can see the little icons on the propellers. Uh, so for this one, I'll turn left. Now, you don't, you don't over-tighten. You just kind of spin them, and, you know, and then make sure they're on there. You don't, these are self-tightening props, so you don't want them to be too tight. And then once you get that on there, we're ready to go air airborne. So check the link within this video's description. Get your Phantom and your accessories and find my first flight video. I'm going to have multiple camera angles and 4K Ultra HD. And be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash iRixGuy. Y'all have a good day.